What is up, fellow members of the big crew? Welcome to a new episode of Pixel News. This episode's gonna be fairly short because there's not a ton of information, but it is a huge, huge deal. So as we watch the progression of NTR boot hacks, we've seen that you've been able to hack a standard 3DS with a modded 3DS and a particular DS flash cart to being able to using a regular DS and a flash cart to hack an unmodded 3DS to we're at a stage where you can now take your unmodded 3DS put in the, a certain flash cart and you can actually flash the firmware of that flash cart to become an NTR boot hacks card and then keep it right in your 3DS and hack that 3DS to install boot nine strap custom firmware Luma custom firmware and anything you could possibly want to do with your 3DS straight from a regular unhacked 3DS and a DS flash cart and of course a magnet if you have a clamshell device. Three things that are easily obtainable. We're talking, you get the expensive part, which is your 3DS, which you probably already have one anyways if you're watching this video. You get a one or two dollar magnet. Heck, go to your freaking fridge and take a magnet off the fridge. You get an $18 flash cart. We're talking $20 of materials and you are able to hack any 3DS of your choice. Any hardware, any firmware, you are able to mod it with NCR boot hacks. That is correct. No need for another DS, no need for a hack 3DS. We are truly in the golden age, the platinum age. Whatever transpires past that, we are in that age right now, you guys. So the flash cards that are currently compatible, I mean, the R4i Gold 3DS RTS, of course, and the Ace Card 2i. However, the Ace Card 2i was actually blacklisted by Nintendo after firmware 4.3, actually on for firmware 4.3, it was blacklisted. So if you have a firmware that is 4.3 or below, you can use the Ace Card or the uh, R4i Gold 3DS RTS. However, if you're like everybody else and you're way beyond 4.3, all the way up to 11.5, you can just use the R4i Gold 3DS RTS, which doesn't appear to have been blacklisted by Nintendo. That's right, the R4i Gold 3DS RTS, baby, it is gonna pack your punch into your 3DS or whatever. It's gonna hack the crap out of it. Anyways, guys, honestly, just, I don't know how NTR boot hacks can really get any better at this point. I mean, it's already in its absolute prime. This is, keep in mind, an unfixable exploit. The only way Nintendo could really fix this is if they actually blacklisted the R4i Gold 3DS RDS, which is actually a possibility for 11.6. So get this done while you can. If they do actually end up patching this, we're probably gonna have to use the power saves method, use a regular DS again, use another hacked 3ds or whatever method actually pops up outside of this i'd also like to thank my patreon supporters on patreon for supporting pixel news and tc pixel and all the videos you guys are the best and i seriously appreciate you guys patronage if you guys like pixel news you guys like any tc pixel videos consider checking out the patreon link and supporting tc pixel Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you have a non-hack 3DS and a flash cart and you're going to jump on this process as soon as this video is over? Do you have a hack 3DS and you're just kind of in awe at how easy things have really gotten? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below. I'd love to read what you guys got to say. Anyways, guys, please like it up, subscribe it up, and I'll catch all of you guys in future videos and live streams. Peace out, big crew. Cats are good pets for they are clean and are not noisy.